you serious? Now that is irony. Oh, <coughs> 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 fuck was that? Alrighty, students, welcome to class. Please settle down because today I will be teaching you guys how to play Fernando the interesting way, or to be completely honest, how you should be playing Fernando. Uh, once the enemy team starts stacking record. That said, before we begin, there are three things that you guys need to know or need to be aware of before adopting my tactics. First off is teammates. Basically, if you want any chance at success when you're playing as Fernando, you're going to need a good healer and a team willing to jump in when you do. Secondly, there are two different routes that you can take using my loadout depending on how much of an adrenaline rush you want. Thirdly, this guy is based completely around the idea of opportunity where if you see a chance, you must always take it. What is this opportunity, you ask? Well, luckily, I can actually show you. That, my dear student, is what I like to call opportunity. So to begin, let's actually start with the loadout, which is something that I have constantly been tweaking and still haven't really perfected yet. Unfortunately, the battlefield is somewhat unpredictable, so I actually recommend some experimentation on your part in order to tweak the loadout to your liking. Cards that I would personally recommend taking are Incinerate, Last Stand, Heat Transfer, and Safe Travel. You can use all of these cards in the same loadout, but I find doing so can result in lackluster performance, which is something that you really don't want since you're playing as Fernando after all. Witness these muscles! <laughs> Shut up, Fernando. So sorry. Instead, picking one or two of these cards and building around them can actually result in better results. In the end, I am still the best looking. I said shut up, Fernando. One advice I can give you when building your loadout is that if you are going to use safe travel, do not pick the launch card since the shield bonus is applied after you charge and not during your charge. From there, we have the two legendary cards that will determine how aggressive you can be while playing as Fernando. If you're feeling formidable, pick up formidable. What? the fuck is going on with this script? Why am I using the same word twice? Uh, anyway, uh, moving along, and if you are feeling formidable, pick up formidable, I'm gonna change that line later, and dive into 1v1 situations from the sign line. Most of the time, because of healing from the legendary card, you will win fights against squishy targets. Just be aware that most champions can easily run away from you, and that Lex is your worst nightmare if his ultimate is up. When taking this approach, you must know how to engage in order to output the maximum amount of damage in a short period of time. Basically, all you gotta do is throw a fireball, charge into your enemy, then start flaming until you have another fireball. Rinse and repeat. If things get too dicey, just throw up your shield and begin retreating. Keep in mind that this is the playstyle that you want to avoid if you are the only tank on your team. But it is really fun when you do have another tank doing the tanking for you, and you can just get behind the enemy teams and flame them in the ass. It is really fun to be honest, plus you all be a great distraction, but it doesn't really mean much if you're the only tank and your team can't hold the objective when you go down. The secondary legendary that you can pick up is Scorch, which will put you into what I feel to be a more effective playstyle of this lesson, although it isn't as fun because you're not going in balls deep and throwing caution to the wind. That said, this playstyle is still pretty fun as the idea behind it is to throw out your fireball whenever you see an opportunity. For those of you who have forgotten what that means, there you go. Opportunity. In fact, one of the most common mistakes that I see with people when they are playing as Fernando is that once they deploy their shield, they will never put it down. Don't, for the love of God, be afraid to drop your shield if you see enemies line up like dominoes in front of you. The best defense is a good offense, and sometimes it's better just to kill the enemy instead of waiting for your teammates to do so. You are Fernando after all, so it's okay to be a little bit cocky. How dare you show your face to me! Okay, not that cocky. Itemwise, there are several choices that you can pick. Resilience is a great choice since you will be in the front line most of the time, and being stunned for even a second can actually result in your death, even if you are Fernando. Kronos is an obvious choice, although you can't possibly go wrong with Master Rider, since you are a tank after all. And if you have a good healer, picking up Rejuvenate is a must, but Veteran can be a good substitute. Finally, Catarize is really the only item that Fernando can effectively use, uh, and you can think about picking up Wrecker if the enemy has a Torvolt. However, I actually highly recommend leaving the attack items as a final purchase, since most of your damage will be coming from your Fireball ability and not your primary attack. 
And well, that's pretty much about it, so grab yourself a flamethrower, throw on a suit of heat conducting armor, shout praise the sun, and charge at your enemies. Actually, now that I think about it, how does, how does Fernando not get cooked alive when he has a suit of metal armor and a flamethrower right next to him? That's a good question in my opinion. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, peace out, and as always, you're going to be considerate and have fun with everything you do. Bye! Oh, <laughs> oh,